welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna be cooking for you guys today. Not exactly cooking, more of whipping up something. Today I'm gonna be making my famous deviled eggs. Now, this is usually a recipe that I make for holidays, like Christmas or Easter. In this case, I'm celebrating Christmas in July, so I'm gonna whip these up for you guys today. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. So, main ingredient for this are eggs. As you can see, I got hard boiled eggs right here. You're gonna to wanna to boil those eggs just so they're ready. And the other ingredients you wanna have are mayonnaise and grounded mustard, which I actually ranked this really low on my tier list, but it's good with this, trust me. You're also gonna want some parsley flakes right here and some paprika right here. And salt and pepper, obviously, you can't go wrong with salt and pepper. So the first step of this is you're gonna to wanna to crack the eggs open. So I'm gonna get some paper towel and you're gonna to wanna to put it on your countertop just so you have somewhere to put the shells because you do not wanna drop the shells into the garbage disposal because that's very bad. You're gonna to wanna to do them on a paper towel just like that. Now trust me when I say this is that eggs never really perfectly crack. Sometimes you do have to finesse a little bit. So in this case, what I like to do is I like to smash it against the countertop and then you kinda of just, it all comes off at once. I don't know why I'm telling you how to peel an egg but you guys probably know this already. Um, some, it'll either come off in like several pieces or it'll come off in one piece. See like, this is coming off pretty good right now. Um, I know one time it was so hard to take the shells off that like it started breaking the egg. Like see like sometimes you'll tear the egg a little bit. That's fine. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, especially when you're making deviled eggs because you're going to be cutting them anyways. And then after you're done peeling the egg, you're gonna to wanna to wash off the remaining pieces, the tiny little pieces in the sink. Now this is fine to do because you're not dropping huge pieces into the sink so it won't really matter. So all you gotta do is just give it a little rinse, make sure you don't drop it in the sink and you're good to go. Also one helpful tip, if your egg isn't peeling correctly, you're gonna to wanna to rinse it under warm water so the shells start to soften up and it's easier to peel. So you wanna rinse it under warm water and then they'll be easier to peel. All right, so now that all the eggs are peeled and ready to go, it's time to cut them. All right, I know this is simple knowledge, but I cannot stress this enough. Be very careful when you're cutting stuff. I know it's a knife, it's sharp, but I'm being serious. You, didn't, you never know what kind of little slip up, you, slip up you can make when cutting stuff, so you gotta be extra careful. You gotta make sure you're extra careful. All right, so when cutting to make a deviled egg, you're gonna wanna cut it in half long ways like this and you're just gonna do a nice, simple cut down the middle, just like that. Then you're gonna wanna take the yolk out of the egg, just like that, so it's just the white parts, and you're gonna drop them in a bowl. This is the recommended size, but anything works. You wanna do one, two, and then repeat that until all the eggs are done being cut. All right, now we're gonna put the whites to the side for now, and we're gonna put it into a plastic egg dish like this. This is ideal for deviled eggs. If you don't have one of these, please get one. You're gonna to wanna to put them inside just like that. And we're just gonna leave them in here while we make the filling for the deviled eggs. All right, so putting the cutting board to the side, all you're gonna need right now is the bowl with the yolk in it, and then we'll get to the filling. All right, so the filling is the most important part of the deviled egg and sometimes it will take some trial and error sometimes you won't make it perfect but it's always different every time you make a deviled egg it's hard to make it the same every single time so we're going to crack open the mayo first and then you're going to want a decent sized spoon and you're going to want to put a few pretty good sized scoops of mayo into your bowl so let's say about this maybe three or four times um it's a lot of mayo, I know, but this is a filling for several deviled eggs, so you're gonna want to have a good amount, a good portion. And let's go four scoops, just to be safe. You can never have enough mayo, at least in my book. All right, so now it's gonna look something like this. Now you can always add more mayo later. All right, so our next ingredient is the mustard. So you're gonna wanna put a good amount of mustard in here. Now, same thing with the mustard. It is trial and error, you can always add more. But I like to start off with a Decent amount. That's good. Well, all right, so now it should look something like this. Now, right now you basically just wanna mash in the yolk and all the ingredients until it becomes something like this. 
Now I use a whisk for it, but you can always use a fork. See, I started with the fork and it wasn't really going well, so I switched to a whisk. Um, either one works, whatever one you prefer. Now the next ingredients we're gonna be adding is salt and pepper. So I recommend not putting too much salt because the mayo is already salty as it is, and you already have the natural salts from the egg and stuff or that yolk, so you're not gonna wanna put too much salt. That'll be good, just like that. And pepper, um, you probably wanna load it a little bit more with pepper because it does add a very distinct taste to the filling, so. Let's just keep going until there's a decent sheet of pepper over it. Just like that. It should look something like that. And then you're gonna wanna just mix it up until all the pepper that you sprinkled on it just disappears. And you're gonna wanna taste it. And if it needs more pepper, you can always add more. There's nothing wrong with that. At this point, it does prefer to your personal preference. Or pepper. That's perfect. Ooh, perfect. All right, so your deviled egg filling should end up looking something like this. It doesn't look pleasant right now, but once it's on the eggs and we add other stuff, it'll look very, very tasty, trust me. All right, so next what you're gonna want is a plastic bag, look something like this. This is a good size. It doesn't matter if you have a bigger one or a smaller one, it'll work. You can always do two Ziploc zip bags at once if you have a small one, but this'll work for now. Why we need a Ziploc bag, you ask? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take the filling that we just made and put it into a Ziploc bag. Kinda of just wanna dump it in there. And if you need to pour it, that's fine. But this process can take a while, so it does take a little bit of patience. But once you have most of the filling in there, I will catch you guys when I'm done with this. All right, so once all of your filling is in a Ziploc bag, just like this, you're gonna to wanna to cut a corner with a pair of scissors. So just like that. That'll be perfect. All right, so now you're gonna come back to your egg tray and you're gonna take the Ziploc bag that we just made and you're going to put the, the filling in the eggs just like this. And boom, just like that. So you got the filling in there and you're gonna wanna do that for all the eggs. If it does drip on the platter, that's completely fine. You can always take it off with your finger or scrape it off, but you're gonna to wanna to fill the eggs up a decent amount with the filling that we just made. Just like that. All right, so now you're done with your tray and it looks like this, you may be asking Paul, isn't this all deviled eggs are? It's just filling in a, an egg? No, there's one final ingredient that elevates it up to the maximum. Paprika. You're gonna wanna take your paprika and sprinkle it on top of the deviled eggs, just like that. And ladies and gentlemen, those are some premium deviled eggs. And now for the most important part, the taste test. Oh my God. Bro. I did it. These are fantastic. I highly recommend you try this at home. It's very simple, very easy. It takes about 20 minutes and boom, they're ready. Just like that. If you wanna see me cook more on the channel or whip stuff up more on the channel, let me know. Um, it's kind of fun though. I don't really have many recipes I can do. If you want more super easy recipes I can find, 
let me know and I will definitely, definitely try them. I will see you guys in the next video.